Okay, let's talk about a little bit more about the piecewise continuous function, okay? So basically, as we talked about, this is unit step function, and then like we have multiply m, right? More general case, right? So like in this one, just think about like uh, three sections, okay? So before A and between A and B and after B, right? That's it. So the graph of this one will be looks like this way. And as I told you, even like, you know, this one is defined like from negative value, but we don't care about it because like your Laplace transform is defined um, a non-zero, a non-negative um, active value, okay? So when t, you, when t is less than a, okay, let me mark a and b first. Let's say I'm talking about this is a, right? That in this section, like ua is equal to zero and ub is also equal to zero. So which means this whole thing is zero. Okay, what about between A and B? Okay, so like this value is bigger than A and less than B. Bigger than A, which means UAT is equal to one, and less than B, which means UBT is equal to zero. So it is M, I don't know which value it is, but like you know, let's assume it is positive value. Okay, and bigger than B, then Look at that, this is one, and this is also one. So if you function treaty, otherwise zero. Okay, that is the idea of this one, okay? So let me draw it like a little carefully. A is here and B is here, okay? Then we know this part will be zero <coughs> and this part is also zero, okay? But between A and B, and you're gonna have some function form like that. This is treaty form, okay? This is the like a general idea about piecewise defined function, okay? With this idea, and let me try to apply these ideas on um, next problem, okay? Here we go. Number 19. Like this is piecewise defined function, then we're gonna to try to write uh, like in terms of unit step function, okay? But this is really easy because we already got the got idea about like this, okay? Here we go. So let me write directly, okay? It is equal to, oh, sketch the graph first, okay? Let me do it. It's easy. It's really easy to uh, sketch the graph, okay? Okay, the zero to one is one. That's it, right? A one, two, two is negative one, right? And two to three is two. Am I doing right? And three to infinity is one. That's okay. Then how can you write this one in terms of the unit step function? Let me show you, okay, here we go. F of t, first of all, the value one is between zero to one, right? Starting point and end point. Then you're gonna write u zero t minus u one t, that's it, okay? And then plus, uh, which is minus one, and second part, starting and end point, right? u one t minus u, to t, is it okay? And then like this one, two is between two and three. Okay, 
the very last one, one is uh, after three, just like simply U3. Does it make sense? And also you have to remember uh, U0T is equal to one. Is it okay? Then let me write the answer, okay? Your function at t can be written in terms of the unit step functions, which is um, U0T minus, oh, no, not U0T is equal to one, right? One minus U1T minus U1T plus U2T and plus two U2T minus two U3t plus U3t, which is equal to um, 1 minus 2 U1t and plus 3 U2t plus, no, minus U3t, okay? Well, this is the way to write uh, as a unit step function form, but also like we can write in a like heavy side function form as well, okay? It can be written by one minus two times u, uh, give me one second, h t minus one plus three times h t minus two minus uh, h t minus three. This is the way to write in a heavy side function form. 